If you try to conditionally format your chart in Excel to highlight some value, well, <laughs> it doesn't work. Does it mean that it's impossible? Of course not. And I'm gonna show you the way to do it. So let's go. We have some boring data here and I want to create a chart and highlight the top three values dynamically. So for this, we need two new formulas and a small trick. Let's start with the first formula, which is equal NA, open, close parenthesis, press enter, and you get an error. Well, yes, I'm gonna use an error and you're gonna see why in a bit. The second formula, I need to understand what is my top number, my second number, my third number. So for this, I'm gonna use large. So here you can put a one, equal large, open parenthesis. This is my array, F4, comma, let's select this cell, close parenthesis, press enter. 95 is my top number. If I need, for example, my third number, it will be 49. So I just change this to three and you get 49. By the way, if you want to do the same exercise for smallest numbers, you can use small and do the same thing. So for example, this is my smallest number. Now let's just delete all this. And here the secret is you need a helper column. So here my column will be called top and I want to get the top three numbers. So to do this, I need an if formula, if open parenthesis, logical test, we're gonna check whether this value is bigger or equal to the third largest number. So that will ensure that I get the top three. Now to do this, we have large, open parenthesis, we get the array, F4 to fix the reference, comma, and we put three, close parenthesis, comma. Value if true, I want the number, comma, value if false, I want this error. Close parenthesis, press enter, and let's double click. You see, we get the numbers, and why am I getting errors? Well, in a chart, whenever there is an error, Excel will not plot the value. So I will have an additional series in my chart and I can do whatever I want for formatting. I'll show you this in a bit. For now, let's do the opposite. Let's get the other numbers in this column. So here we're gonna call it other and we're gonna do the opposite. Equal, if open parenthesis, we're gonna do this one is smaller than large open parenthesis. This is my array. Let's use F4, comma, three, close parenthesis. I want the number in this case, otherwise NA, close parenthesis, press enter. So here you get 45, double click. Those are the other numbers. Now I can chart everything. So I'm just gonna select the data, insert, let's go to chart and let's select this one. So this is my chart. Let's just double click here so we have space and let's put the chart here. So you have three series. The blue one is the sales, the orange one is top, and the gray one are the other values. Now, I want to get rid of my sales because I already have others and top. So how do I do this? Click here, right click, select data, and here you have sales, remove it, press OK, gone. Next, we are gonna clean the chart. So I'm gonna click on this axis and press delete. I'm gonna click on the legend, press delete, and we're gonna get rid of those lines, not nice. Now we have our chart. We can resize it. Let's go here, equal, let's put sales, press enter, go to home, bold it, click on the other axis, bold it, there we go. Now we have to play with those bars. So I'm just gonna click on the orange one, which is the top, right click, format data series. So you can click here and check, this is series top, perfect. We're gonna change the color. Let's make it, for example, green, so we can see them, and two, we need to go here under those bars and play with series overlap. So if I do this, you can see that there is a big gap between the two bars. However, if I do this, now they are on top of each other. If we play with the gap width, we can just put it at 60, press enter. You have less space. It is nicer for your chart. So now we have this done. We need to play with the other one. So I'm just going to click on it, check whether I have the right thing, series others. And then here you can go and change the color. We're going to use this blue, perfect. Next, we need the data labels. So this is already selected. I can go on this plus, data labels, select the other series, data labels. Now let's make some changes to the data labels. Let's click on the first one, which is the green one. Right click and we can do change data label shape. Let's select this one, 
you get something like this. We can go up, change the color to green, the font to white, and now they are selected. Let's use bold also, I think it will look nicer. And for this one, we just select it and change the color to this blue, and we can just bold it. So now you have everything. What you need to do is change. Let's remove this 95, put it at 3, and you can see the chart automatically updates.